Hi, this video will show how to adapt the qubit, broad range, and high sensitivity DNA assay kits into a higher throughput microplate format using TCAN's Magellan software and microplate readers. This example presumes that you will take 10 microliters of your sample or standard stock solution and dilute it into 190 microliters of the qubit working solution. This example also presumes that if you're using the broad range kit, your initial stock sample concentrations are going to be 100 nanograms per microliter or less. For the high sensitivity kit, your initial sample concentrations are presumed to be 10 nanograms per microliter or less. The amount of sample volume that you ultimately place in the wells of your plate will depend on the plate used and the reader that you are using as well. Usually, volumes of 50 to 200 microliters are sufficient. With your plate reader turned on, launch the Magellan software and make sure that you're connected to the reader. Then choose Create Edit a Method and select New. In this next window is where we will set our measurement parameters. I'm starting here with a Griner flat black plate. You can choose another type of black plate, but make sure that you're using black plates. Clear plates are not advisable. In the part of plate strip, Click and select all the wells as shown here. Then grab a fluorescence intensity strip and drag it into the screen. Enter 490 as your excitation and 525 as your emission. For the number of flashes, enter 10, although you can add more or less, but 10 is a good place to start. For the mode of reading, select top. For your Z position, if your instrument has this feature, Select Calculate from Well and pick a well such as A1 where you know you will place the high standard or a sample with signal in it. For gain, for now, pick Optimal. Leave all the other parameters alone as their defaults with 0 for lag and integration at 20. Finally, grab a Move Plate Out strip, set it here, and make sure that it's clicked on Out. Then select Choose Measurement Parameters. Let's start with the plate layout. We're going to grab or drag to select two wells like this. Pick ST for standard, leave these parameters as their default, and hit fill. From there, click select all unused, click on SM for sample, and again leave the parameters as they are here and hit fill. You can now see that we've got standard 1 and 2 and a series of samples running from 1 all the way to 94. The next step is to enter the dilution values for your standards. If this is the high sensitivity kit, you will enter 10 here. If this is the broad range kit, you will enter 100. The units should be nanograms per microliter. Our next step will be to define the parameters for the standard curve. Under the data tab, you're going to leave these settings alone. For analysis type, you can pick either linear or nonlinear. For this two-point standard curve, linear is perfectly fine. If you go on to create a assay with additional standards in a dilution series, you may want to test the effects of plotting things in a nonlinear versus linear regression fit. When selecting a linear or nonlinear fit, there's also an option to use an extrapolation factor. This extends the range of the curve out beyond the high standard and below the low standard, allowing you to get concentrations, or at least extrapolated concentrations, for samples that fall outside the bounds of the curve. There are other tabs in this screen that you can explore on your own. Once you're done entering your settings for the standard curve, the next step will be to go to Data Handling and consider whether you want to do some data export to Excel or an ASCII file, or whether simply viewing the data in Magellan's workspace format will be sufficient. I'm going to skip the data export part now. If you need help with this, contact your TCAN representative, TCAN technical support, and also look for some contact information at the end of this video. For now, we're going to look at automatic data handling. You will want to make sure that you check the box for Save Workspace. It is also here in this window that you will enter a prefix name for the Magellan Workspace file that will be generated when your plate is measured. There are different formats that the file name can take. You'll want to pick the one that's best for you. Here's also a place where you can designate the path for the file to be saved. 
The default is for it to go into this path and into the Magellan WSP directory. You can pick any path that you want on your computer. You will then select Next, and this is the window where you will name your method. This should have said qubit brdna.mth, and I will later go on to correct that. This section here is for remarks, just additional description about the method that you can enter. The method file will be saved in the path shown above here. The default is the MTH folder within Magellan, although you can pick any folder you want. Your next step will be to pick Save and Finish. Now that you've created a method, it's time to run it. Press Start Measurement. Make sure that you have Use Predefined Method selected here. Find your method in the list. Place your plate in the microplate reader. Confirm that this is the file name that you want. And then press Start. Once the reader is done measuring your plate, the Evaluate Results window will open where you will see the name of your file as well as the name of the method that was used to generate the data in this file. You can progress down through the left-hand column looking at various aspects of your data. This is the view of the raw data. This is the view of the data as a heat map. This is the single concentrations of the samples. This is a graph of your curve. You can also navigate into the Edit Method tab and change other conditions about the method, at least change the conditions of the copy of the method that is present in this workspace file. For instance, I can change the dilutions here or change other things about the curve or things about the export file. And if I like those changes, I can go on to choose File Method Export and create a new version of the method that was used to generate this data. While viewing your data in the Evaluate Results tab, you have the option of performing simple copy to Excel actions like so. Click and drag across the wells you want to export or copy to Excel, I should say. Choose Edit Copy to Excel and you will see the data appear in this format in a single sheet within a workbook of Excel. This action can be performed for other forms of data such as the single concentrations. Edit, copy to Excel, like so. If you are interested in doing batch exports of multiple data types such as raw data as well as single concentrations, in a automatic fashion, you will want to explore the use of the data export function within Magellan and the ability through automatic data handling to do automatic exports to Excel at the time you measure your plate. Once you're done evaluating the results, you can choose Next and if any changes have been made to the data set or what I should call the workspace file, you would choose Save and then Finish. 